This is an official Guinness World Records attempt. I'm George Turner, I'm 12 years old, and I am here today to set the world record for solving a Rubik's Cube on a pogo stick. So my dad taught me how to solve a Rubik's Cube, and I just progressed from there. I was just in such awe of my dad when he solved it, and I just really wanted that ability. When I was about seven, I could beat him easily. I got my first pogo stick when I was nine. I got it for my uncle for my birthday. And I just basically tried to combine the two and found that I could solve it in about a minute on the pogo stick. George, do you like to begin pogo? The current record for the fastest time to solve a Rubik's Cube on a pogo stick is 24.13 seconds. On that attempt, you achieved a time of 24.57, so not quite quick enough. There's something when you solve a Rubik's Cube called look ahead, so you're looking three or four moves ahead after the algorithm. That's obstructed when you're on a pogo stick. George, in your own time. Because as you're bouncing, you might accidentally turn a face or it might, you might lose your eye line so you can't focus on where the pieces are going to move. And also the grip. So like I said, a piece or an edge might accidentally just flip over or turn by accident. Or you could just lose control and forget where you were. The advice I have for people breaking a Guinness World Records title to do with Rubik's Cube is just not to be afraid that someone older than them might have broken it. When there's no age limit, it's open for anyone. George, the time to beat today was 24.13 seconds. On that attempt, you achieved a time of 20. 2.89 seconds, which is a brand new Guinness World Records title. You. Congratulations, you are officially amazing. Well done. I honestly don't know where the future's going to go for solving Rubik's Cube and Guinness World Records, but if anyone does beat my record, I'll probably try and break it again. <laughs>